Well, in southern Utah now, Zion National Park officials are urging caution with the potential for flash flooding at the park in areas like slot canyons, streams, and dry washes. Flash floods have the highest chance of occurring during monsoon season, which runs from now July to September. ABC 4's Katie Corrales reports. Although there are currently no flash flood warnings in effect here at Zion National Park, park rangers say even the potential for flooding is cause for serious concern because conditions can take a turn for the worse in an instant. And so we just worry that, that uh, people take for granted the fact that it's sunny out, it's sunny where we're standing right now. Despite the forecast, flooding is possible at any time at a place like Zion, where many slot canyons converge into river systems, meaning it doesn't take much rain to begin flowing downstream. Back in 2015, seven people lost their lives while canyoneering when a flash flood hit. Rangers say some of the most recent flash flood events occurred when there was only a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain. And because southwestern Utah has been experiencing a long period of dry weather, crews say a lot of debris has been building up in the canyons ready to be mobilized. It, it's a, just a moving mass and you can't swim in it. Um, again, you can't run from it. Um, and if you're trapped in there, it, unless you're on high ground, it, it can take your life. Currently, canyons that require a permit are not allowed due to COVID-19 concerns, but the Narrows and Riverside Walk are still open, both notorious for flash floods. Warning signs to look out for include a buildup of storm clouds, sudden changes in water clarity from clear to muddy, or debris in the water. Now, park officials say flash floods can be so deadly because when you're caught in one, it's almost too late to do anything. Prevention is key in these scenarios, but they say drop your gear and try and get to higher ground as soon as possible. In Zion National Park, Katie Kralis, ABC4 News.